All right. So number 14, the shift of the labor demand curve from D1 to D2 could possibly be explained by. What I think it's important to remember about this is that demand is the demand for labor. So the companies are demand, or the firms are demanding labor. The workers are supplying labor. And so the issue is, is that a change in the workers' attitudes toward the work leisure trade-off could affect this graph, but it would be a supply issue. Decreases in wages in other labor markets would lead to more workers coming in, but again, that would affect supply. An increase in the price of the firm's output. So if they were able, the firm was able to get better, higher prices for a good, that would lead them to shift their marginal revenue product, which is equivalent to demand, and thus they would demand more workers. And so C is true. An increase in the wages of workers, that would be the outcome of a shift in demand, but wages, wage raise is a result of a shift in demand, not, not the other. So as a result, the answer is C.